uh, zoning regulations and private property rights. I think Highland does a, a, a fairly good job, but I know there are some areas where there are issues. For example, um, the city on these main thoroughfares here requires you to, if you're a private property owner, to have your fence now 30 feet from the road. Um, essentially meaning if you put up a fence, you just lost 30 feet of your property, uh, but the city isn't necessarily willing to buy it. Um, I don't think that's, I think there's something wrong there. I also think there's something wrong with the city saying you have to have a certain type of fence along this road again uh, and then not maintaining it. Um, it's one or the other. You put the regulation in, you maintain it, or you let the owners control it. Um, there, there are a number of areas where I think the city can improve and be more consistent. I would certainly be open to any suggestions from community members in those regards. I'm, I'm sympathetic to those issues. Well, I believe property rights, uh, but I also believe in uh, restrictions like stoplights. If, if you didn't have them, then nobody would have freedom. So when you have uh, laws in place in certain zones, then I think it's uh, coming on those that live there to abide by those when they want to come into that. Uh, and then develop their property the way they can within those, within those restrictions. I've never seen a stoplight on my private property, but that'd be cool. Uh, you know, city ordinances are great things. Sometimes they're necessary but many times they're not, and they're never enforced equally. And government's job is to be equal across all bounds. Your property rights end where it affects somebody else's rights and freedoms and liberties. That's what government never seems to understand. They want to tell you what you should do with your property, but ordinance has become sort of a tattletale game where if your neighbor doesn't like something you're doing, they run to the city, and then the city creates an ordinance and punishes that person, but there's 80 other people in the city that's not being punished for the same ordinances. Uh, you can get over ordinance to death. Trust me, I've been evaluating cities across the nation. I don't want people telling me what to do with my property, but also I have to maintain my property so it doesn't affect my neighbor's property value. And that's where cities need to step in to make sure that there's nothing unsafe and nothing bad for the neighborhood. But Properties is mine to maintain. The planning commission, if it's a good planning commission, creates a good work product. The planning commission is not a legislative body. It's a recommending body. The citizens have a right and an obligation to help the Planning Commission provide a solid work product to give to the City Council. The City Council must provide insight and wisdom to legislate the appropriate private property rights. I agree with many of the things that have been said. But if we wish to have certain things changed, then we must involve some requirements on the developers and not allow property development to erode private property rights. I was uh, instructed to not focus too heavily on water, but it has been my life. Uh, and the, the value of zoning, even before we were a community, is the water company filed as a non-profit corporation and operated that way for 20 years prior to the city being incorporated. And so the county set those rules. We uh, filed on a water right that was fairly large. And because we didn't have any anything in line to say that, they just assumed that what was happening was the value of the people or the voice of the people. And that was five acres. So they divided the total uh, area of the declaration of the Highland Water Company and said, you're going to build 1,200 homes. So the water rights were granted on 1,200 homes. Now, if we had done some additional work, we would have been out of water fairly early. 
So we need to respect what we choose because it does affect all of us. And for the most part, uh, our city does a pretty good job in zoning. However, uh, there are um, many opportunities where when you put in an ordinance, it affects everyone equally. And when, it, and when you do that, one size does not fit all. As the chair of the Planning Commission, we've had a number of um, uh, developments come to, the, come, to the, come to the commission. And one of the things that we instituted when I was the chair was a community neighborhood meeting to meet with the developers and, and listen to what the neighbor, and the developers were to listen to the neighbors and find out what their issues were with that development. And they were able to mitigate a number of those problems. And so when you have a community working together, then you, then you really uh, have a much better community. And so that's, I really feel that we need to be listening to you, and the fewer ordinance and zoning ordinances that we put in place, probably the better off we are. Now the zoning ordinances and property rights within a, a city are critical. However, I think the ordinances that have been implemented within Highland have been far too prescriptive. I live in an open space subdivision along with 18 other subdivisions that are open space. I've spent the last three years serving on the open space committee dealing with citizen complaints of the way those are structured and the ordinances that are enforced within those subdivisions. It's almost reached a point where we have two classes of citizens. We have open space citizens and everyone else. I think we need to create ordinances that are more uniform throughout the city and, create and treat everyone the same and eliminate the prescriptive ordinances that make it very difficult to live within the community. I think we need more unity as we do that. And that's, again, been evidence, evidenced by the number of complaints that we receive as a committee uh, in the open space area. And I hope we can fix that over the next four years.